Hi guys, so I was having an issue with this air handler that the AC was turning on, the outside uh, unit was working just fine and uh, the inside one wasn't really working so I opened it up and I noticed that the fan was blowing very very slow. So here's the fan that I opened up and it was literally just running like this, you know, this at this speed, you know, very very slow and I was like, you know, something does not seem right. So, you know, I removed the, this has the, this motor, ECM, you know, so I removed the module, you know, these motors have the module at the back side, you know, so I removed the module and, uh, you know, there's one thing I'm going to show you. Now, I know the motor is good, you know, now sometimes the motor even doesn't run, you know, or it runs at full speed or it runs at slow speed. So in my case, it was running at slow speed. I had a case before where this thing was running at full blast speed, you know. So that was also caused by the bad module, you know. But uh, in this one, I'm just it's just constantly running at a slow speed. So I know my module is bad. And I'll show you um, a device in the, in the module. It's a thermistor that normally goes bad. So we're going to be replacing that. And I'm going to put everything back on and show you guys that it works fine, hopefully. So let's go ahead and uh, replace the thermistor. Okay, so this is the module that I removed from the unit, and this is uh, these are the capacitors, and when this black thing is the thermistor, and what happens is sometimes this thing go bad, you know, um, sometimes it's very obvious that they are bulgy and stuff like that, but anyways, you can replace these, the replacement you can pick it up from Amazon or uh, eBay, you know, but they come in a pair sometimes, you know, they come in multiple cases, but <clears throat> anyways, uh, just make sure the specs match, you know, so you may want to find out you know this is SL22 and uh, you just kind of match it with what you have on there so when you're ordering it just make sure um, and uh, there's a way to test them and the way you do it is uh, you put it on ohms and uh, you take uh, your multimeter so you definitely need a multimeter which can read um, ohms reading and uh, you know you connect one side of it and uh, then you connect the other side and let's see what we get so I expect to see somewhere around 1.2, 1.3 ohms. Um, let's see what do we get here. So you just have to make sure you have a good connection before you do the final reading. I don't have two alligator clips, but okay. So there it is, 1.3 ohms, and uh, that is that seems to be the correct reading, uh, 1.3 ohms. Now. Not all the time these things are bad, you know, uh, this is the most common thing that can go bad in this particular thing, right? And normally when these things are bad, you know, your unit is completely not working. Um, but uh, we'll see. I'm um, going to measure the other one and that, this one is also 1.3. Okay. So uh, now let's see if there's a way we can test this one now. Uh, you're going to have to cut this, you know, in order to do any kind of testing. So there it is, I cut it off completely. And uh, you wanna make sure you leave some so you can solder it on top of those existing one because if you cut it too short down, you know, you're not gonna be able to. So this way now I can go ahead and um, solder it right there and then and uh, not to worry about any other issues. So, um, you know, now it's just a matter of soldering the thermistor on top. You just need a soldering gun. Just make sure when you're soldering, you do a good solder so it's not uh, loose or anything, you know, just make sure the connections are good because you don't want any issues. So the soldering is complete and uh, once this is done, you know, all you have to do is just uh, slap this piece back on. And the installation is very easy, you just put it in there, just slot it, just uh, put it back in and just screw it back on. and. Uh, connect everything back to the air handler and everything should be good just make sure to connect the wire and uh, you should be good to go so guys when do you have these ESM issues and how do you know that this is your ESM is bad is uh, the symptoms are basically either your fan is blowing at full speed and it's not slowing down um, or it's either working constantly that it's not really you know stopping you know when you turn your AC off uh, from the thermostat, the AC keeps running, the fan blower keeps running, and you're curious, hey, why my blower is running? You know, th those are the signs of uh, bad ECM 
controller. Um, also, the, another sign is the fan is sometimes working very slow, so you know it's not pushing enough air out. You know, so you're causing um, icing uh, and stuff like that. You know, on your air handler, uh, that could be also a symptom, uh, or it's completely not working. You know, so the fan is completely not working. You're getting icing on your system, and you know, and you come out there, you open it up, and your fan is not working at all, or it's working very slow. So those are the sign of a bad ECM. Uh, you can fix it, you know, if it's completely not working, it most likely is your thermistor on that thing. You can replace it and get it moving. Um, you know, in some cases, uh, the thermistor trick not normally works, so you have to replace the ESM. So guys, hopefully you like the video. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel and like the video. Thank you.